Good evening, Mr. Mayor and members of City Council. It's not all over again, but the new city, a new council, a new mayor, because you all are not doing a good job with the city of South Florida. The department needs to be cleaned out, starting with the chief. If you don't want anything done, it's because you're complicit in it. A city on the rise, South Fulton's motto since the city was founded in 2017. To the residents in this council meeting, it feels like a city in decline. Right, right. Arnold Lozano agrees. My clients are Joseph King and Tanisha Graham. These were not employees who had any performance issues. They were well respected amongst our colleagues. The civil rights attorney filed discrimination charges on behalf of the former detective and the city's former HR director, who both claim retaliation after raising concerns over this officer, Lieutenant Shannon McKessie. It takes a lot of courage to be the person to blow the whistle on wrongdoing in a police department. He says October 2021, Joseph King would be one of two officers to do just that. King, who was named South Fulton's Detective of the Year, crowned Officer of the Year across Fulton County for a nearly perfect homicide clearance rate, a decorated law enforcer who faced the most dangerous criminals, would write he feared his own colleague, Lieutenant McKessie. I miss you, Citing her lawless ways led to his mental breakdown. Procedure violations on how she handles property and evidence cause the integrity of cases to be compromised. Officers are afraid because when it doesn't go her way, she pulls her gold card, letting you know she has known the chief since she was 18. She wreaked havoc, creating an unbearable, nerve-wrecking, volatile, hostile environment. He filed the grievance with then HR director Tanisha Graham. I was just doing my job. She did not want us to show her face. Here's why. I don't know who I've upset, so... The fear is constant. While trying to investigate the claims of misconduct and possible criminal wrongdoing, Graham alleges the chief of police and members of the city were pressing the city manager to terminate me because I was allegedly meddling in police business. According to an internal memo written by the city manager and obtained by Atlanta News First, a council member stated Graham was meddling, needs to leave the city, and that they're sick of her. Statements the city manager called inappropriate and misplaced. I spent my entire career in HR working to protect employees from this type of retaliation. And ultimately, I was unable to protect myself. The 20-year veteran HR specialist accuses the city of a hostile work environment. She is not alone. A subsequent investigation by an outside police agency documented at least 18 South Fulton law enforcement officers accused Lieutenant McKessie of hostility, lying, mishandling evidence, or other misconduct. The report outlined Lieutenant McKessie requested officers buy her alcohol on the job. Officers say they saw her drinking it on duty, claims she called colleagues racial and derogatory slurs, plus discrepancies when she would seize money and property. And while the case was ongoing, According to records, officers who spoke out experienced retaliation. Detective King reported he was subsequently accused of having a fake COVID vaccination card. Top shelf detective. And they come after him for a COVID card? Can you think of anything more petty? Atlanta News First Investigates requested an interview multiple times with police chief Keith Meadows through email and phone. He never replied. I just want to ask a question. Okay, yeah, okay. We met up with him outside the city's coffee with a cop. Do you have a blind spot for McKessie? Do you think so? A blind spot? Mm-hmm. She's a family friend, close with your wife. Do you think you had a blind spot when it came to hiring her? Well, McKessie was actually, she worked for me in the city of Atlanta. She worked for me in College Park, and she worked for me here. If the South Fulton police officers, at least 12 of them, saying they can't trust you, how do you expect the community to trust you? Well, you know, we've gotten great support, and this event is, is, is evidence of that. And so, you know, uh, none of those police officers brought those um, allegations to my attention. Um, it came out in the investigation. That the chief I, denies knowing about complaints that McKessie leveraged their friendship as a fear tactic. But this report outlines otherwise an officer telling detectives when he complained to his superiors, including the chief, nothing was done. I do know that uh, there was an allegation made to the HR department. The HR department never briefed me on that on their investigation until November of this past year. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, until July of this past year. And so when they came to my attention, then I responded to it. The HR director in an internal memo alleged the chief's response included 
bullying tactics repeatedly in emails and in conversations, asking for the list of employees. And then when the HR director tried to investigate, she said, you tried to stop her. Why did you try to stop her? Well, the, the city hired an, uh, an attorney to investigate that matter. And that attorney came back with an investigation that actually said that those, those allegations were not true. The law firm, hired by the city, found the harassment claims to be without merit, based on assumptions and suspicions. However, the HR director says the investigator did not collect documents or schedule follow-up conversations. I was deeply saddened that I was forced out of the job that I loved. Um, simply for telling the truth when I investigated allegations that laws had been broken and policies had been violated. <laughs>